Now this is not in the quick speed shop. Check it out. Brand new paint on my Studebaker truck. I'm using the Rust-Oleum turbo cans and they're kind of crazy. Let's see how they work. I mean, to put paint on it, looks halfway decent. Bam guys, here are back at it. 46 Studebaker truck. My last video before I go to the Piston Powered Show in Cleveland. I've got like one day left and it ain't painted yet. And there's a bunch of other stuff. No oil change yet. No fix the rear ends leaking. Uh, oh. oh no, I'm panicking. All right, so I'm ready to shoot it here. I'm gonna paint it. I'm gonna mask it real fast and paint it. I'm using Rust-Oleum Turbo Can. Look at that, ba bam How many ounces are these? 24 ounces. Flat black turbo cans. So last time, off camera, I scuffed the whole truck up with 320 and Scotch-Brite, and then I wiped it off a wax and grease remover, and off camera, I went and I did some work on the inside. Can you see up here? I put kill mat all in it. Listen to it now. Solid. Because I had like uh, this material, actually I've still got it over here, I can show you. This is like back in the day, old street rod interior material. It's like carpet with foil on the inside of it. I had done that on the interior and it had all fallen down and mice had got into it one time and took some of it and it was all falling off the ceiling and everything. So I went and kill matted it. I even put some inside the doors, two pieces inside the doors there, you can see that. Because these doors used to be really tinny. Now they're super solid. The back of the cab, super solid. Everything is super solid now. So, uh, I'm ready to shoot this thing. I'm gonna very minimally mask it. I'm gonna mask the trim real fast, mask the headlights, mask the glass, and uh, we're just gonna fog it. It's just gotta be black, ain't gotta be perfect. You can see how thin this got here. I scuffed it. This just was scotch bright, and this, all this paint had, what is all the dents on the top of this fender? What in the world? It must have been, Huh, that's awful weird. What is that? It's like something went like that on top of it. I don't know. Anyways, these fenders are body worked all the way. Anyways, uh, it, uh, what am I trying to say? We're just painting her black real fast. It ain't gonna be perfect. The cab is already black. It's just gonna get, the whole thing is gonna be one color. So we're just gonna fog it right on. I went and I got some plastic. I'm gonna plastic off the back half of the truck, plastic off under the hood, and, uh, I'm gonna wipe it off one more time with a rag and then uh, to get any residual dust off it. I'm gonna turn the temperature up just a little bit to get the temperature of the truck up here. Let's do that just a little bit. And then we're gonna get out the turbo cans and freaking shoot it. You're not gonna need that much, probably a coat, coat and a half, two coats, just to make it black. Paint it black, hit the track. I've got something goofy going on with the paint on the roof. It's all cracked and coming apart. This whole truck was epoxy primered way back, well, almost 30 years ago. Then it got driven in the sun for many years in epoxy primer, and it made the primer really hard. Uh, and then when I sanded it and painted it, it somewhat flaked off, and it basically needs to be DA'd down to bare metal and had the bodywork finished, re resealed, and then painted the right way. But for now, it's just got to be painted black.
I'm like a Morocco player. Hey, Morocco, Morocco, Morocco. Well, my sh well, I go here and I, I shake vigorously these big cans. That's what she said. Um, everything is all masked off here. I rewiped it down again. Use the foil trick on the mirrors. Wrap the mirrors up. That worked good. And there's going to be a lot of dirt and stuff in it because, you know, this is minimal prep. It's nonsense, but uh, I'm going to shoot it black. It's not going to be any worse than when I painted it originally flat black, just blowing it on here. And it, uh, oh, is that some dust? Nope. It, um, and it's going to be all one color now. So let me shake these up. You got to shake these up for a couple of minutes. I'll shake it up. And then we're going to try it. All right, I don't have any safety gear on, but I want to see how this works and I want to be able to talk to you. Look at the fan of this nozzle. You ready? I'm just going to come over here where you guys can see it. Can you see it? Do you need to be closer? I don't really want to get paint on the lens. Can you see it? Let's get you a little, get in there a little closer. Ready? How far do I got to stay back? Hold can 10 to, 16 inch, 10 to 16 inches from surface. You ready? Here we go. Let me try it on. Whoa! Holy shamoly! Ready? Holy cow! That's, uh, that's some turbo can action. Holy shamoly! It's gonna, I'll be able to paint this truck in like two seconds. Wow, that's nuts. All right, I gotta put on my respirator, turn on the fan. You guys come back here, I'm gonna put you on the time lapse, which probably will only take a couple seconds because this is gonna spray on here like a mofo. <laughs> There we go. Those turbo cans, they go fast. If you saw in the time lapse, I didn't even get a coat and a half on the truck and it went fast and I'm a little dubious with the roof here. It's a little thin and dry and streaky. Ah, I'm hoping it kind of like evens itself out. And then I ran low, so I took my flat black here that I had regular rust rolling. This is professional. And I fogged the front of the fenders and I fogged the thin spot I had here. And now it's a different color, like, unless it's not drying yet. Wait, I mean, that's not semi-gloss, is it? Hold on a minute. They, no, flat. Huh. So they kind of blushed up. I, I did touch up the driver's door because it was super streaky, and I did that with a flat black. And it kind of, see, there's a couple of stripes in it. Got to be careful with the turbo can. I think it needs more practice. I don't know about doing a shiny paint job with it, with a turbo can. I don't know how that would work out. Uh, I know like Dylan McCool did a cop car and I guess this is flat. I mean, it's good enough for here. It at least made the truck all one color. Oh, at least it made the truck all one color. And even though the doors are a little streaky, they'll, they'll probably dry. I mean, it's, this is less than an hour away. Like you can see some streakiness in the doors there. Hoping it'll uh, dry up and look a little better. I touch this one up with that can too. I did. One well, in the front. Well, I was gonna blow some more on the on the doors, but I don't like how that's a different color there. That's weird. Why is it doing that? I had to take my coverall pants off because they're super greasy and grungy from wearing them, working on everything. And every time I touch the fender, it left a like a grease mark on the flat paint before I paint it, so I couldn't have that. But I mean, it don't look too bad. Don't look too bad. I wish I had one more turbo can. If I had one more can, I would have hit the doors and stuff again with a second coat, second heavy coat, and I would have done a little bit more on the roof. But 
is what it is. It's a rattle can freaking paint job. I actually thought about putting some green scallops on it here, like taping up on the headlights and making a little like scallop down the top of there just for a little something different. I don't know. I'm running out of time. I've got just tomorrow <laughs> after work to finish this up. I want to put in a, uh, I bought a, where is it? I bought a Dorman cigarette lighter so I can, I was looking for like the USB ports where they have, uh, you know, like the actual USB connectors in them there. I put one in my van and uh, I ordered it from Amazon, but they didn't have any at the auto parts store. So I got this one and I have an adapter that goes into a cigarette lighter for my cell phone because I'm going to use my GPS when I go on a trip. And I'll definitely want the phone charging. So I'll just put this 12 volt socket underneath the dash and then I'll use my adapter. It's fine. It'll be workout good. <clears throat> so tomorrow we'll take a look, but I think I'm out of time. It's going to have to be as what it is. Going to uh, unmask it real fast then, tomorrow night. And then I've got to change oil. I've got to fill up the rear end because the rear end's leaking like a mofo. Fix, fill up the rear end, blow up all the tires, make sure they're good. Load all the crap in the back of it. Uh, change the oil. And it should be ready to hit the road. Ted's coming over s s Wednesday morning and we're hitting the road. It's, it's uh, four hours four hour trip from here to Cleveland to the XI or IX or whatever it is convention center at the Cleveland airport and it's going to rain the whole way there so I've got the one windshield wiper I put in the last video at least I got that on my side I'm going to put some rain -X on heavy duty rain -X, put on a couple of coats of rain -X, and uh, we'll have to hope for the best hopefully it's not like a deluge of rain but with rain -X and a wiper to keep the droplets off it you know, I should be good. Uh, should be a kid, all right. This truck's got thousands and thousands of miles on it, like 34,000 miles. So it should be uh, no no big deal. I got the dragster loaded up the other day on the trailer because it's going to rain tomorrow and rain Wednesday morning. And I didn't want to be loading it in the rain. I got the thing, the carburetor screwed up on that. The, uh, it's a what, four jet, GM four jet on there, and it's, it, uh, leaks down for fuel and stuff. I need to. I want to really put six two six twos on it, and I would just run like the two inboard carburetors just for fun. But I'd like to get a six two log manifold for it. But uh, I got it. Finally got it running. I had to pour some gas in the carburetor. Got it running. Pulled it up onto the trailer. So that's ready. That's chained down, ready to go. And uh, just got to collect all my crap and hook the sucker up, and we'll hit the road. So I'll come back tomorrow. We'll unmask her. All right, bam, it's the next night. I've literally got 12 hours before I'm leaving. And look, it's all taped up still and everything, but the paint dried. Where I had to dust in with a regular can of rust on Professional, you can see it a little bit. I redid the doors off camera and they're a little streaky, but they were worse. I had the, the uh, turbo can did leave some big stripes in it because I wish I had one more to do it. And I also resprayed the roof because it had some big stripes on there. You can see a little bit of stripe in action but we're going to be driving in bad weather and the sun's going to get on it and it's going to get dirty and dusty and it's going to it's going to fade on out here but it looks like one color of black at least now and I wanted to add some I thought about like putting some green scallops on the lights to match the wheels. I don't have time to do that. Like I said, 12 hours and we're out of here. So I've got a lot to do. I got to change oil, filter around which leaks, put in the cigarette lighter for the phone, load all the tools, get everything ready to go. go. So uh, it's going to be is what it is right now. Uh, I'm going to unmask it here in a second. I'll peel all the tape off, then we'll take a look at it and see how it looks.
she's all unmasked. Looks good. Check it out. It's all one color black. Those streaks, a little bit of streaks that'll wear in a little bit, but it uh, came out good. I had a bunch of that cheap masking tape glues all over everything. I had to get it off, but it's good here now. I'm pretty much wrapped up. Um, it's late now. Late? It's almost midnight. And I've, I gotta I got change oil real fast and I fill up the rear end and then uh, put some rain on the windshield. But I think that's about it. Ted will be here in the morning and we're hitting the road for Cleveland. There's a chance of, it's gonna rain. And they said a chance of snow. I hope it doesn't snow. I don't want there to be salt on the road and get salt on my truck. This truck hasn't had salt on it in 50 years. I really hope that doesn't happen. That would suck real bad. Uh, it rained today most of the day, so it should have washed the remaining salt over off the road that was from left over from a couple weeks ago. So hopefully, even if the roads are wet, they don't get trashed. I might climb under here and I'm doing the oil change and spray some fluid film, at least on the bottom of the cab, up inside the edges of the cab and stuff. Uh, the bed's going to get sandblasted later. The frame's really painted really good, so I'm not really worried about that, getting salt on that should wash off but I want to get it in the bottom of the cab so maybe I'll do that just to be better safe than sorry but uh that's it next video or two will be at the piston powered show in Cleveland hopefully I make it I'll start a new video tomorrow while we're on the road and then uh we'll go from there so thanks for watching we'll see you hopefully in Cleveland it's going to be an adventure bam